everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part four of my Your Turn to Die Let's Play. So we had some interesting things happen in the last episode. The big thing being the introduction of a new player who is hiding out on us. I believe his name is Gonbi. Uh, he seems to be a prisoner of some kind and he wants nothing to do with us. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. Eventually, I'm going to assume he's going to have to come back around and play the main game with us. Also, now has just completely lost her mind, and she's running around with uh, Professor Mishima's head, and we have to go find her, so <laughs> that's where we left off. So we are going to get back into it and see what happens next. So and Connor are resting in the corner. Oh, that's right, he also got quote-unquote attacked, and the laptop was stolen. I'm still a little iffy about that. You okay, Kana? I don't want to put any burden on Kana. I'll keep checking on her from a distance. Alright, so we are back to searching for now. And I believe I have Gin with me. So let's continue to the second floor since we didn't really get to... We kind of got to explore a bit of it, but now where'd you go? Hey, now that's a shout. Keep searching like that. Now! Gah! None of my ear, dumbass. Shout away from me. Super sorry. So there was this room that uh, I was doing that puzzle in. Two symmetrical rooms, huh? Seems like you're kind of puzzle, Sara. Well, yeah, I pretty much did most of it. Might be another scary trap, meow. Better be careful. Oh! I totally forgot about the uh, light bulbs here. Okay, there's a light bulb that's not getting power installed in the ceiling. I can't reach it. Want to ride on my shoulders? Sure, please do. Maybe. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't like his wording. Ride on my shoulders. I was half joking, but all right. Tamed a light bulb. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Alright, then we'll just put it over here. I wonder. Piggyback, please. Well, it's only logical. Inserted the light bulb. There, there, you did good. Mr. Policeman's not a dog. It also wears me out that he keeps having to reiterate that he's a policeman. It's almost like he's trying to convince us and himself? I don't know. He just kind of weirds me out a bit. Oh yeah, that's right. I still have to find this doll, apparently. This doll of myself. Can't proceed past these iron bars. Did Miley vanish past here? I mean, I guess I could probably check the other rooms and see if something... something's different. It looks like it's a spa. Our enemies offer some pretty good amenities. That's true. There's hot water. We could get enough moisture to live for days. Feels like you could stay positive while the whole world's ending, Sara. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't be very fun if we just died of, like, starvation or whatever. They want to make sure that we at least stay alive to play the games. Oh, hello. What's this? There's something in the bottom of the bath. Obtained a bath stopper. Okay. Before I do that, is the little penguin going to say anything? I'm not a penguin. I'm sorry. Sorry, the not a penguin. Alright, so if we go into the yellow room and we put that stopper in and drain the water, maybe there'll be something hiding there. Can I not put the stopper there? Or I guess it would be the opposite. I'd probably have to take the stopper out in order to drain the water. Okay, so it seems like I can't do anything with that right now. Alright, back to searching for now slash that life-size doll that I need for that mirror puzzle. She didn't fall down this large hole, surely. Come to think, where's this hole even go to? I would like to believe she's safe. 
Oh, oh, there she is. Or I should say, there I am. Oh, what's this? Isn't this me? It's a spitting image, like I'm looking into a mirror. Oof, our enemy's got some wild hobbies, huh? It's eerie how detailed it is. Yet I can't look away from the intricate, in, eh, intricateness. It's amazing. But when was this made? You couldn't pull this off without a lot of long, detailed observation. Who could accomplish such a thing? Oh. <laughs> What's up? Um. Uh, ask about Kai. Let's say, I, once again, I don't want to call Kai out directly. Let's just say ask who has his attention. KG, I want to know your perspective. Is there someone who has your attention? Maybe Joe. Uh-oh. He's such a funny guy, you know? Hmm. Now, enough about that. Want to take this doll along? Right, understood. Heave. Okay, well, I mean, that's what I was looking for, I guess, but I still want to check out the other rooms. The way I see it, if, our, if people are following me around, they haven't seen the red room, so I was maybe wondering if, like, they'd comment about that, but apparently not. Well... I'll check out the cafeteria really quick, and then, uh, if not anything there, then we'll just head to the puzzle. Oh! What an eye-searing color! If you want to search, do as you please. I won't assist, but I won't impede either. Once again, a little weird that we're just having this guy wandering around and we'll just like run into him occasionally. Okay, so there we go. We'll put the doll in front. Okay, there we go. Alright, nothing happens. Okay. Oh, I still have the spray bottle. So, do I do I have to wipe it down to make it so that it's not blurry? Maybe I have to combine it with this thing so that I use it as a wipe? No. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Oh, I gotta use the spray on this one! Oh, okay! Here I was thinking that I had to do it- okay. Fine green droplets stick to the mirror. They won't come off. Alright, so let's stand in front of it. I sit in front of the mirror. Nothing's happening. Oh, shoot. I suppose I have to solve the other puzzles in this room, then do the mirror last. Oh, right, there's the, um, there's the scale. Let's move the weight to the other side. Oh, shoot! Oh, right! When I moved the scale the last time- oh, okay, and then the water- that was the water draining. Okay, so it drained in the other room, probably. So let's go check that out. So maybe I'll have to find something that's in the water in the other room. So it was the yellow room, I believe. Yeah, there we go. But there's nothing there. Okay, now the water is drained again here. Or undrained, I should say. Shoot. Do I have to have it so that the water is drained at the same time in both rooms? No. No, I have to have it so that it's balanced. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! Oh, the stopper! I probably have to put it into the scale, don't I? Yep. Yeah, shit. Okay. I can put the bath stopper on the scale. There we go. It balanced perfectly. Alright, I think that should be good now, so let's try standing in front of the mirror. I stood in front of the mirror. Now everything in the room is symmetrical. Yes! There we go. Something outside the room moved, making a loud sound. Way to go, Sara. Let's take a look outside. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there's something on the floor. Huh, a key. It's got a tag, meow. The key to the kitchen, eh? Oh, well, uh... Kai. I always forget Kai's dang name. Kai will be happy about that. Come to think of it, the kitchen is the only place on the first floor we haven't been. 
since the keys here now shouldn't have been able to get in without breaking the window. But we should check just in case. Yep, best to be simple and methodical in your investigation, Sara. Well, this is very intriguing, but this is probably, I'm guessing... Okay, so you need a number... I mean, it's not gonna be as simple as just being the number nine. The number nine is displayed above the door. What could this number mean? Alright, well, we'll save that for another time. Let's get into the kitchen and uh, see what awaits us there. The door to the kitchen is shut fast. I'll use this key. Can now enter the kitchen. Oh, she did get in. Hi! Hi now, please be cool. She already, just by looking at her, she looks very like a cornered animal right now. That's... now! Please stay away. Hey there, settle down now. You especially, please. Okie dokie. What did you come here for? Please leave, Sara. I'm scared, Meow. Now is really riled up. Alright, let's talk to her. We're on your side. We won't do anything. What in the world happened? As if you don't know that. I won't... I won't hand over the professor. Now doesn't want him to be taken away. Oh. Uh, I don't want to lock the door. Oh boy, do I lock the door in, in case she tries to escape? I don't want to attack her. Let's just try and calm her down. Please calm down. We don't intend to take him. Then please, just leave. It's no good. This can't be resolved by discussion. Now, doesn't want him to be taken away. Alright, let's try locking the door and then I guess we'll just have to subdue her. I lock the kitchen door from the inside. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. She's, she's gonna be even more like a cornered animal because we're locking up her escape, you know, escape path. Now, no one else can enter. Will you talk to us? You really didn't come here intending to take the professor? Right. Please believe us. Since it's you, Sara, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please. Even when she's having a freak out, she's very polite. Roger that. Sara, why did you come here? Oh boy, am I gonna have to do some negotiating right now? This music is, yeah, very, very intense. I need to put her at ease somehow. Uh, let's say... I came to search the kitchen? I just came to look for clues in the kitchen. Is that it? I'm sorry for doubting you. Please, search all you like. I've been hiding here the whole time with the lights turned off. Since if, since if the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. Uh, does this room have a light switch? Uh, let's say, did no one else come? During that time, did anybody come by? No, no one. You're the first ones. I figured as much. If someone had entered, there'd be an uproar. At this point, I think we can talk properly. Now, um, it's hard to say things like this, but... I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. I've caused all of you trouble. I shouldn't be acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? I just have to persuade her. Uh, let's tell her about Gin? I want to try and take it off of her, and try and, like, put it on, you know, keep the focus on other people. Now, did you know that, uh, that the stairs going up to the second floor appeared? Huh? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms there are just as full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Gin got trapped in- Oh, boy, we're putting- Now we're just making her seem like this is her fault, that he got trapped. Gin got trapped in a cage. Gin? Yeah. He was very frightened by it. I feel like I'm just... Oh, this feels kind of mean. I'm... Aw. Oh, that's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now. But you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive. That wording... Oh, shit. I said... I said a bad thing. Professor Mishima... Is dead. Professor Mishima is dead now. Wah! No! That was- that was the wrong thing to say, wasn't it? Oh. 
Oh, I just- I broke her even more. That's right, of course. Either I snapped her to reality, or I just pushed her deeper into it. I kept questioning him in the dark. But the professor didn't say a word. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew always answered my questions with a smile. I was in the middle of painting it. A portrait of the, of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift. But I can't give it to him anymore, can I? I'll say you should finish it. And what about it? Huh? He must have taught you many things. About art, about studying, and many more important things. Who knows Professor Mishima best out of anyone? Now, you should make it back alive and finish that painting yourself. I... I want to paint it. Until I finish that portrait. I can't die. Yeah, there we go. Right. It's sad. But this... this box... I'll let go of it now. The door's open. You should go see Reiko. Cause she was the most worried. Yes. Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Oh, she's such a sweetie. Well, we better give it our all, too. Right. Uh, I'll leave it to him to touch the box. I don't want to deal with that box. A box with a suspicious look. Uh, well, Sara, if you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. Yeah, let's leave it to KG. Sorry, can I ask you to look? Because, you know, for once, let Sara have a break from things instead of having to do everything. Of course, that's more or less what your friendly policeman's good for. KG opened the box and checked inside. Hmm? Oh, is it gone? Sara, take a look here. Huh? There was nothing in the box. What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? Where did the professor in here go? Oh boy, okay. Uh, I hate to blame now, but I mean, the only thing I can think of... Uh, the kidnappers took it already. I mean, there was the whole thing about the... Um, what am I thinking of? The doll's head at first. So maybe it was Mishima's head was a doll's head, but I don't know when they would be able to do that swap. It never went in at all. We saw her put the head in. Well, maybe we'll say... Oh, now still hiding it. This choice might not even matter, but... I have heard that there are multiple endings, so I really feel like I've got to take every choice seriously. So, I'll say the kidnappers took it. This means the kidnappers took it, uh, didn't they? But the way now was acting, I'd have to think she never let go of it. Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Even as far as Mishima's death. Huh. Nah, I just felt like saying that. Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could revive like that, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now would be glad. Like a doll, huh? Oh. Was Mishima also a doll? Do you think Miley's really a doll? I don't think Mishima is a doll, I'll say. Although, there is this whole thing about dolls, about very lifelike dolls in this game, so it was like, do people actually die, or are they just replaced by dolls? I'll say, do you think Miley's really a doll? Ha! <laughs> huh, it's out of the question. Nope. No way she's a doll. No point in worrying about it. Let's keep trucking along and just pursue the truth. I didn't want to believe that now is just hiding the head somewhere, and maybe, maybe it's like KG said, maybe deep down she thinks that it's like with, uh, with Miley, where it's like, if you just put the head on, then they'll come back to life. The blue refrigerator is empty. Maybe she hid it. I mean, the only place I could think of is she was hiding in here the whole time, then... Maybe she's hiding it? Oh, what's in the box? Oh, there are the numbers. Please use as you wish. 361802. Okay, and 61 and 2 are highlighted. Hmm. Alright, well, we know what to do with those. It's just a matter of where they go is the question. Well, I'm sure Kai will be very happy that the kitchen is finally open. Before I go up there, though, let's just take a look and see if, uh... Now made it over to Reiko. Oh, there's So still. Uh, nothing new. Oh, 
Aww. Sara. Reiko. Heard you found now. You did good, thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it, especially because you're safe. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But, buds... You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. Oh, I really- I know I've said this multiple times, but Reiko, I think, might be one of my favorite characters. She just- she's that stereotypical, like, tough-looking girl with the heart of gold. That's not it. I'm very happy. Alright. Oh, it's so sweet. Alright. So we want to... Oh wait, before I do that, let's actually see what the numbers are here. Okay, so 361802. So we've got a black door, white door, so I'm guessing that the white highlighted ones are going to be for the white door. So that'll be 612. Yeah, there we go. The white door opened. Okay, this is very minimalist. There's a handcuff at the end of the chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in this room feels heavy. I'm gonna leave this room, meow. Gin? Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. I can faintly smell blood. Oh, and since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I put the time around, yeah, maybe the first trial. Oh shit, is this the room that Kana's sister died in? How would Keiji know that it was like based on the dust and the smell of blood that it was from the first trial? Okay. Once I began- once I became cognizant of it, I understood. The unremovable, raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. Ooh, whoa! Whoo! Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sara? KG. I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sara. Well, look at that, he's finally taking initiative and not letting me do it, but... I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. <laughs> then when he says that, I'm like, hmm. Maybe he has some other reason for doing it? I don't know. With a gentle, uh, with a gentle push on the back, I proceed to exit out of the room. I don't know, I feel, it almost feels like he pushed me out because he wants to explore it and maybe get rid of some evidence, or I don't know. To think an empty room could make me tremble. It's been planted in me. The fear of death. Oh, I just noticed that the... It's two now. It used to be nine before. Well, I wonder if this is like a countdown uh, until... Let's check this out. There's a large red door in the center. The number two is displayed above the door. Oh, and it's a red door like Duncan Ropa. I wonder if this is where the, the main game is going to take place and it's like a countdown until it actually happens. What could this number mean? Okay, so we have to solve the other one. So let's take a look here. Uh, so it'll be 380. All right, I can't go back into the white room anymore. I guess I really am shoved out. All right. A large blackboard with nothing written. An electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents and such. There are a lot of shredded pieces inside. How about it, Sara? You see anything of interest? This? Huh, just garbage. Probably a waste of time to check it all out, huh? They're gonna make me go through and connect pieces together, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time consuming, yep, yep. I'll try searching it, Meow. Kin. Maybe he likes doing that kind of like really um, time intensive, like very, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like it's a puzzle. Maybe he likes this kind of stuff. Gin seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. 
All right, well, I'm glad that Gin's doing it. I don't have to do it. It's nice that people are doing things without me. All right, so... Uh, I guess I gotta go and try and see if I can find a... Oh! Hey, Miss Sara. So, and... Aren't you tired? It's not good to re uh, to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Hmm. Uh, I'll say I'm still energetic. I can't rest. Not while everyone else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who will come uh, who will come attack you. So I know how you feel, Miss Sara. Miss Sara, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But, uh, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Oh boy, what's going on? What about Joe? Uh, I... Yeah, I'll say he's my best friend. Yes, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sara, you trust Joe then. So what about Joe? Miss Sara? So came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Uh, I had nearly forgotten. No. I've been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes, So and Now got zero votes, and everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. Why is everyone so suspicious of Joe? Uh, Keiji seems to have a problem with him, and now So? Do you know what that means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. Dude, come on, why are you doing this? I feel like you're doing this on purpose to cause some discourse. We'll be going now. Catch you later. It's almost like he's trying to put a wedge between Joe and I for some reason. Joe didn't vote for himself? I guess that implies that Sara did vote for herself. Alright, well, I guess we gotta talk to Joe about this and see what's going on. I'm assuming he's probably gonna be at the bar. Yep. Joe is sitting down wearily. He's staring at something in his hand. Ooh. Try talking to him, peek unseen from behind, or startle him. Oh, I'm wondering if I try... If I try and peek at him, he might catch me and wonder why I'm being suspicious, but if I try talking to him outright, maybe he'll... Maybe there's something he's trying to hide. So let's see if I can peek at it and see what it is. A piece of paper? It kind of seems like a card. Oh no, did he get one of those too? Like, uh, the Keymaster card? Don't tell me. Wah! Sara, you startled me. What are you looking at? This was in my inside pocket. That's... Oh. Never mind. It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. We were at the cafe having a fun chat together. Aww. Uh, I feel like it's kind of mean to say, do you miss Ryoko? I feel like I'm kind of rubbing salt in the wound. I'll just say, I'm so photogenic. Hey, you said it. Ryoko looks cute here too. Sure does. Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadows where there aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as an, uh, as normal right now? How late a realization is that? I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. I was so nervous, I couldn't talk at all. Somehow, we ended, talking, uh, ended up talking about you, Sara. What? Do you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. Wah! You promised you wouldn't tell anyone! Haha! <laughs> it sure got the conversation lively. So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you didn't know me that much, yeah? Really? Well, no friend of Sara's could be a bad person, you know? Haha! <laughs> Funny, right? Cause I was thinking the same thing. Joe... Ryoko and me made an agreement. If anyone makes Sara cry, we'll make them cry. So, like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're... If I made you cry, Sara, that means Ryoko's gonna sock me, right? Hehe. <laughs> you're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. 
Yeah, whenever I see a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Erase that from your memory. I mean it. Oh, that was sweet. It didn't quite go in the direction I thought it was going to go, but I'm glad that we had a little bit of moment of levit uh, levity there. Okay, I'll rest a little, then get back to searching. Okay, I guess there's not really much to be done. Oh, and Gonebi! Ahem. Sorry, what you doing? There was noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? Uh, I know even if I tell him to go look for me, he's not going to. I'll go look. Gombi, you... I will remain here. I'll leave him alone. Yeah, just don't do not do anything to my boy Joe, okay? Oh, it opens! And, oh boy. Is this it? Are we doing it? Oh, I'm afraid to go through there. Maybe I should save first. Alright, let, let's do it, I guess. Well, I guess we gotta investigate it first. The red door is open and shines a bright, bright, uh, bright white light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in here. And I'm gonna be a dummy and I'm gonna do the same thing. It'd be too dangerous to enter. I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck only my head into the room. And then... Someone shoved me from behind. What? With that, I lost consciousness. Nah. No, oh, what's this? Huh? Miley is pictured on the screen. Hee <laughs> hee, everyone, how are you feeling? Miley. Uh, let's see, where are, we, where are the others? This is a pre-recorded video, so I'm afraid I can't answer any questions. Allow me to thank you truly for taking part in the main game. Here we go. All right. This isn't quite how I thought the main game would be. I thought it would be we'd all be in a room together. Like in Donkin Ropa, but I gotta stop assuming it's gonna be like Donkin Ropa. Main game. This is a waiting room prepared for participants. The Last Supper Room. You may fill yourself with food before the game or form a strategy. Use it however you please. What is she saying? Those who successfully beat the main game can proceed to the next floor. Hooray! Note that those who do, uh, do not exit their waiting rooms once the main game starts will die as a penalty. Do keep that in mind. Hee <laughs> hee. The next floor. I will now explain the rules of the main game. Everyone, please take the card you obtained while exploring and touch it to the screen. Oh, so it's assuming that... I wonder what happens if someone didn't find a card. It's, is it just an advantage that you have? Card? Card with key master written on it. It reads, this is a key to the exit. You will die if someone learns of this card. You have your card, yes? Now I will begin to explain. The basic rules are profoundly simple. One person will be selected by majority vote, and that person will die. That is all. What are you calling simple? The vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the pre uh, preliminary vote, half the total will be chosen as candidates. Currently, 11 are alive, so this will be five. A final vote will be held using these, deciding the ultimate victim. In short, the victim is decided by gradually narrowing it down from 11 people to 5 to 1. Of course, even those not chosen as candidates will participate in the vote itself. Please do not kill one of, uh, of your own volitions. Stop it. Stop this. However, there are holes in this game. We do not care for intentless games of luck. Such worthless acts as using rock, paper, scissors to fairly decide the victim are forbidden. And so, everybody, please take out your cards. Cards. There are four roles given by the cards. The first is the commoner. This is a meaningless card with no power at all. The second is the key master. And oh my, it is a terrifying role indeed. For if chosen as the victim, everyone will perish. Oh my gosh, it kind of is like Donkin Ropa though. In kind of a different way, it's like the blackened, where it's like if chosen... I, I guess kind of the opposite, though. Key Master. That's my card. Third is the Sage. By holy divination, they know who the Key Master is. A very lucky roll. Congratulations to its owner. Fourth is the Sacrifice. Amazingly, this curious card allows the victim to survive only if chosen as the victim. Oh, dang. What? Which means if they're not chosen, they die. 
However, there are positives as well. The sacrifice alone gets two votes, and also, if they win, they can escape alive with a person of their choice. Well, but in that case, all the others will perish, so good luck. There is one key master, sage, and sacrifice. All the, all the rest are commoners. Committed to memory, yes. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm going to try and remember this. This kind of reminds me of that game, uh, is it like Werewolf or something? Where you have to, like, there's a villager, uh, there's, like, the werewolf, and then you have to pick who the werewolf is. It's kind of reminding me of that. Okay, so I have to remember this, and this is going to, I guess, decide how I'm supposed to... I guess I'm going to have to try and suss out who is each person and try and convince people to vote based on that. Hold on. Does this mean... So it means that I have to make sure, obviously, because of the main character also, I am absolutely not chosen as the victim. So at minimum, two people will die. Everyone do your best not to be one of them. Dang, no way. Oh shit, I felt like I heard something at that moment. The loud sound of someone fainting in the room over. Wow, I didn't think I was going to be getting to the main game so soon. An extravagant feast. How could I have any appetite right now? In the end, we're being held in the palms of the kidnapper's hands. Our heads can fly off at their single whim. There might not be any exit. We'll just be toyed with and killed until they're satisfied. In that case, then we're just going to... It's a strange thing. I'd felt death was near again and again. Maybe there was no chance left to be afraid. I don't want to die. Even at this point, I want to keep going. I'm coming to hate my own positivity. I'll do whatever I can. If I mess up, everyone will die. This worst of cards seems to me pushing me on. I only drank a little water, and the time arrived. Wow, okay, so this is happening. Okay. Am I allowed to save first? It's now time. Please head to the grounds via the door near the screen, everyone. I wish you luck. Heh <laughs> heh. Ah ha ha. All right. We are definitely saving. All right, so I have to... So I've got to make sure that the sacrifice... So that's the whole thing. If they... Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten. Ah! I've forgotten about the sacrifice. So if I'm chosen as the victim, then everybody will die. So it's the opposite, where if they're not chosen as the victim, then... Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten. <laughs> I should have written this down. I'm sure she'll explain it. Can I, can I have the rules again? If you wait 10 minutes without leaving, you'll be killed as penalty. Please hurry. Alright, I wonder if there's an actual timer right now, like, going on, and if I actually just leave it? Okay, let- I guess I gotta go, I don't really have a choice. I'm hoping she'll go over the, uh, the rolls again. In front of me were strange desks about waist height. Here we are. Keiji. You guys, that was fast. Oh. And <laughs> Gombi, he's like, I didn't even want to be part of this shit. All of you, so pale. Why is this happening? A desperate game is beginning. And yet, we just have to play it. Ehehe. <laughs> oh, so you'll take part after all. Miley, you... Aha! Please, take a good look at those desks, everyone. A rather interesting setup, isn't it? Oh, and we have a time limit too. They are reverse hourglasses. Most curious indeed. When those hourglasses have all reached the top, the discussion will end. Yay, my favorite! Time limits, yeah. You have 70 minutes until the preliminary vote. After that, you can discuss for 20 minutes before the final vote. Well then, shall the discussion begin? Hold up, Kana. Kana ain't here. Oh dear, so some would choose not to take part in something so enjoyable. Hold on, Kana will definitely come. Time is limited. That is what she chose, and that is the end of the matter. Miss Sara, you haven't made the wrong choice, have you? Oh shit. Is she saying that because, based on what I said to her, maybe she'll have the, you know, either the will to carry on, or she just gave up and she's like, just kill me, I don't care. Did I make the wrong choice? Well then, let us start the main game. 
Damn, this is like intense to know if I make the wrong decision. I might kill someone before the game even begins. Okay, let us start the main game. Everyone stand at whichever desk you like. We were urged to head for the desks. Now then, you seem to be prepared. Let the main game begin. Please, wait. Okay, good, good. Uh, um, I'm also... Kana! You are welcomed, Kana Kizuchi. Regrets can wait until after taking part. Ehehe. <laughs> Aha! Let this wonderful, wonderful main game begin. Oh crap, I was hoping she'd go over the rules again. Maybe she will. I hope so. Alright. I'm gonna have to be extra careful here because uh, there's a time limit to this. An extremely heavy air dominates the space. It's different. This is nothing like the discussions we've had before. Hee hee hee. Well, I shall go over the basic rules one more time. Yes, please do. Thank you. A total of two votes will be held. The preliminary vote in the middle of the discussion, and the final vote at the finale. Five candidates will be chosen in the preliminary vote, and one victim will be selected in the final vote. If the chosen victim is the key master, all lose, and all will die. Alright, here we go. If the victim is the sacrifice, the victim wins, and can escape with one person of their choosing. So obviously the victim is going to, I guess, try and encourage us to vote for them instead. I wonder if the victim... I wonder if the sacrifice is going to be Joe, and then obviously Joe will choose me, but if that happens, because if everybody else dies, then that's just the end of the game. So that's probably not going to happen. Alright, if the victim is a commoner or sage, the chosen victim and the sacrifice will die. Ah yes, I have left rule books on the desk. Make use of them as items, everyone. That is all. Hee hee hee. Use your time however you please. All right, so I'm gonna have to make sure because when I ever do, whenever where I do these discussions, it tends to take me a while to kind of get to the point of what I'm trying to do. So I gotta like make sure to hurry it up. Miley quietly sat down in a chair, and in dead silence, the main game began. Okay, here we go. All right, well let's save first. All right. Uh, so Kutaro. I think we're just gonna choose the most suspicious, least cooperative person here. <laughs> well, that's gonna be Gonbi, obviously. Let's... There's just one thing I want to say up front. Uh, sure, okay. Thanks. Well, it's just a short one. I'm nervous, but I'll say it. You see, I'm the key master. Oh shit, he lying right off the s Oh. What are you doing, so? Huh? I was unsure whether I should keep quiet, but I want to avoid us all dying, so... Oh, he is so the victim, isn't he? Er, yeah, the sacrifice. He's the sacrifice. What is so saying? The key master is me. Do I not- I guess I don't have my card on me, so I can't just use it to, like, flash and be like, No, you're lying. Really? That's the truth, ain't it? If nobody else is gonna name themselves, then yeah, I'll believe it. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have let Zo talk. Oh, boy. Should I say nothing? Uh... I'll say nothing for now. Maybe I have to try and suss it out of him, because maybe if I jump on it too soon... Oh boy, I already feel like I'm making the wrong choice. I don't know. Is it right for me to announce myself now? As Miley explained, there is one key master. So is lying. I can't imagine anything else. Hmm, is that a fact? No, I'm afraid I can't believe that easily. But for the current time so, I will trust you are the key master. Thanks, I'll do my best. Well, it looks like everyone's accepted it. Let's get back to the main thread. Listen, the roles written on the cards only really become import uh, important come the final vote. First of all, our, pr our priority is looking for suspicious characters. Really might be someone on the side of the kidnappers lurking after all. I can't understand what So is thinking. But for now, I just have to focus on this discussion we're going to have. All right. I've already settled on my pick. Huh? Curse me if you wanna. I... Gombi, I'm voting for you. What about it? Say what? Mwahaha. Do what you like. Oh man, am I gonna... If I have to interrogate him, let's hope it goes better than last time. <laughs> Dumbass. What are you talking about? That means you'll die. You're the fools. Just think for a second. 
How do you mean that? This vote shouldn't be focused on one point. Indeed, this is the preliminary vote. If we were to unanimously vote for Miss Mr. Gombi, Gombi would be our only choice for the final vote. Oh man, and if Gombi is the sacrifice for, or the key master, we're all done for! <laughs> it's not as if we freely chose what roll cards we got, right? We were guided into picking them up. There is a possibility that the kidnappers granted the least trustworthy Mr. Gombi a special role for their own amusement. And now the chaos ensues. I'll watch closely as you all flail about. Damn it! This game is even more malicious than I thought. If you want to survive, we need to assemble as close to five candidates as we can. We gotta suspect five people? This is the worst. An oppressive air covers the area. Sheesh. Already beaten at the first push? I'll make a topic for you. Sorry, Chidouin, I will vote for you. Have you anything to say back? Obviously, dude is a little salty about what happened before. Eh? Hold on. Sar's like our leader. What's your basis? Haha. <laughs> then why don't we discuss whether her actions are suspicious or not? I found it suspicious from the word go how a mere high school girl became a leader. Dude, I didn't want to be. Everybody just, like, flocked to me. Sarah's almost always acted with others. She couldn't do anything suspicious, right? Doubting the others is one thing, but doubting Sara? You're awful. Sara, talk back to him. Gombi's just got the wrong idea about you. Huh, you sure have a lot of friends. Have at you, Sarah Chidouin. Alright, well, I gotta convince uh, Gombi, so I might as well talk to him first. I've even see I've even seen through to the reason why the why the others have submitted to you. What do you mean by that? You alone have a weapon, the only one. A weapon? That's right. You possess all that can be called a weapon in this place and stand supreme. You're an accursed dictator. I drew out a new statement. If I can refute it, even Gombi should quiet down. Okay. So let's do I extract again from him? Ah, come on, extract. There we go. I can't, uh, can't refute it, can you? Oh, do I have to use an item to, like, maybe... Oh no, conflict is when I put two people against each other. Uh... Just trying to think, do I have anything to prove? Uh, I don't have anything that can really... Maybe I gotta talk to the other other people? Okay, let's, let's talk to you. Sara, talk back to him. Gombi's just got the wrong idea about you. I'm trying. I I'm trying to refute it, but I, I don't understand what... I, I don't really have many items here. Uh, I mean, I've only got two things here. Do I have to, like, use these to... I guess I'll use that? I'll try this, and then I'll try the paper and see if that helps. Oh, wait, what? What the hell? That actually worked? Take a look at this, please. Huh? This box was in the kitchen. It says, please use as you wish, yet there was nothing inside you. Oh, shit, it's a knife. Oh, shit, someone's got a knife. I didn't even notice that. I was just like, okay, I guess I have to prove. I was like, Phoenix writing it here. I was like, do I have an item here I can use? Wow, I feel like an idiot that I totally missed that there's a knife there. What of it? All that's left is an impression. An impression made by a kitchen knife. What? A kitchen knife? Yep, by the time Sara checked it, it was gone. Somebody probably went and took it. The kitchen was locked the whole time, and Miss Sara very rarely acted alone. Oh, shit. Does now have it? So surely she could not have taken it. How are you staying so calm? Like, who was it? Who took the knife? Who did take the knife? Uh, I mean, I think that's a pretty important question. Yes, knowing that is key. Who in the world could it be? Hold up, Sara. Is all that more important than clearing your name right now? She has a point. Who did take the knife? Well, I guess it's not relevant. Never mind. There's no need to prove everything. That's not rel- Okay, so I gotta learn, like, just stay on topic. That's not relevant right now. How could it not be? 
The point I'm making is that I don't have control of all the weapons. So I didn't earn this trust by force. Erg. That's right, I can't fall into my opponent's trap. Sheesh, look at you feeling all pleased. Very well, I'll speak no more. You trusting fools can just suspect one another. Right, there's no time to celebrate. Go and be quiet, it just means we have to talk. Well now I kind of want to talk to now and be like, did you take the knife? But we're going to stay off the knife topic for now. Okay. What should I say? Who should we distrust? I've resolved on an answer. Kutaro. Letting this end in silence is the most inane plan we could take. That's why I'm going to say it. In all our searching and discussions, who were the biggest burdens and the most weak? Man, Kutaro is, like, not afraid to say it. Kana, Gin, now, I'm talking about you three. Damn, that's... Uh, I, I mean, I don't blame him. You gotta, you gotta think. You, you gotta think logically, but it still feels bad. You couldn't... Are you shitting me? You think you ain't gonna get picked just because you got strength? Then go ahead and vote for me. What? Vote for who will- uh, vote what your will tells you. If you think I'm useless, then take responsibility and kill me, Reiko. That's what I mean by resolve. Wow, we are turning on each other very quickly. Now, Kana, Gin, tell him. Use your words to prove your worth. Yeah, it's like Reiko probably, she kind of- She sticks up for the underdog, it seems like. She, uh, kind of gravitates towards the quote-unquote weaker characters. I- I- I searched as best I could, and I found things. Lots of things. K kana Gin, if you don't talk, it's over. Don't tell me none of you are thinking you'll be fine dying, right? Looks bad, Sara. Kutaro is serious. What should I- Draw it out of him. There's something only you can- uh, That's something only you can do. Only I can? Kana. Sara. Why? What's so do? Like, he's... What's what's his all deal? What's the matter, Kana? I'll say you want to say something, right? Come out and say it. Kana. Kana doesn't care what happens anymore. Oh, dang it. Kana? Even if she's chosen, it's fine. Damn, okay. Uh, let's talk to now. I know I dragged you down, but I did give it my all. I'm begging you, please don't cut me out. Now, uh, let's say step back and think. I'll keep my distance for now. Now's panicking. Gin? Uh, let's say... Kyutaro's not so scary. It's okay, Big Sis Sara is here. Do you want to say something? No good. Gin's keeping his silence. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess... Oh, yeah, I guess because I have to... Because Kyutaro's accusing them, so I guess I have to put them in conflict? So, like, him versus... Kana, maybe? So, we'll do him, and I'll try Kana first, and have them kind of, like, argue it out over... See if I can get something out of Kana. Did I do that right? Okay. Kana doesn't really mind if she's picked. What? She's had enough. Kana just wants to go to her sister. Kana, don't be ridiculous. I'm just tired. You gotta be kidding. You really don't- uh, you really want to die without a peep? Please wait. Miss Kana, are you serious? Or is this an act? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Maybe Kana- Maybe Kana's the sacrifice. Where she's like, just vote for me. Ooh. Ooh, that's sneaky, if that's what Kana's doing. Kana won't say anything else. Please do what you want. This is troubling. Miss Kana may have drawn the sacrifice card. Sacrifice? The sacrifice must be chosen to survive. Thus, they would put on a one-man show. Yet she's got enough motive that we could believe she actually wants to die. Then no picking her for now, right? Not participating in the discussion so as to earn herself votes. I can't imagine Kana playing those kinds of mind games. Maybe that bucket is hiding a big old brain under there. <laughs> Unless someone suggested it to her. 
Oh, is so being like, okay, take me with you if if you're the sacrifice. Like maybe so offered her something. Uh, but when would they have had time to talk? I guess he would have pulled her. Oh, I don't know. Because the thing is, the card didn't really explain what its use was for until the rules were explained uh, by Miley right before the game. Like, I just saw the whole thing about, like, don't let people know you have this card. But, like, I, don't, I didn't actually know what it was used for until uh, I was in that last supper room. So when would have so had time to talk to Khan and be like, okay, so if you do have the victim or the sacrifice card, then this is what you do, and then pick me to go with you, or vice versa. <laughs> like, I don't know, this game is doing a really good job of kind of messing with my mind. Everyone, let's just put the uh, subject of Kana aside for now. I can't know her true intent, after all. First, why don't we hear from Gin and Miss Now, too, and then make our decision. So. Uh, let's say... Oh, do I say, are you protecting Kana, or don't decide we're done here? I'll just say, don't decide we're done. Please, don't just decide we're done here. Ah ha ha. I just don't want to waste our time. Don't want to be scrambling before the vote, right? That's right, Sara. You can't deny those two uh, time just to justify themselves. I can't lunge at him. I'll back off. Sorry if I'm being overbearing, but I do have the role of guiding everyone. Oh, because he's still saying he's the key master. You freaking liar. Since I'm the key master and all. So, for now, Gin, can we get some proper statements from you? Meow. Yeah, that's right, Gin. Be a man. Tell him what you gotta say. Meow. Meow. Gin's frightened, and it's your crude-ass men- Oh, and it's you crude-ass men to blame. We got no time. Gin, prove you've been useful to everybody. Okay, so I guess I have to extract. I was de mm, Do I put him in conflict? Let's try and see if I can get something out of him first, and if not, then I will just put him in uh, conflict with uh, Kutaro. Meow, meow. Gin is trembling. Oh, boy. Let's say... I'm not gonna fiercely, because I feel like he's just gonna kind of go back into his shell. Let's kindly question him, because that seems to do well for him. Gin, it's okay. Can you try to remember what you've seen and noticed in this place? It's no good. Gin's closed his heart. Crap. Uh, do I do something with Draco? Gin's frightened and it's your you crude-ass men to blame. You say something too, Sara. Draco, can you recall anything in particular that Gin did? Uh, well, hmm. Oh! Come to think of it, Gin said he found something amazing searching that second floor room. What exactly was it? Okay, there we go. Now maybe I have to try and extract that since I know something more specific. Gin is trembling. Okay, let's look him in the eye. Gin? It's no good. Okay. Uh, maybe... Okay, I'm gonna try putting him in conflict. Oh, boy. Okay, let's do... Alright, so we'll do that, and then we'll do Gin. I don't know, Meow. I don't get it, Wolf. Oh, shoot, that was a mistake. Ah, no! Crap, okay, and I've only got a certain amount of that clout. Okay, maybe I'll put conflict with Reiko? Okay, there we go. Gin, show it to him. That amazing thing you found searching in the second floor room. Amazing thing? I didn't know anything about that, Meow. What did you say? Reiko, you got a fine attitude, but see here. It ain't right to go and spout lies to protect people, all right? Ugh. No, I tell you, I'm not lying. Somebody's gonna die in his place. Maybe it'll be you? Hold the hell up. Woof. Big sis Reiko. We need to spur on Gin. All right, let's instigate him. You see, Gin? Reiko's being called a liar just for speaking up for you. Don't you feel bad? I do. I do, meow. But, but... What a cowardly kid. You call yourself a man. Oh, sniffle. Uh, did that work? Oh, okay. Oh, I- Okay. The discussion is stuck in an equilibrium, failing to come to an agreement. I need to swing the needle to either side or this balance will never collapse. Alright, yes, please. Battle- Balance battles. 
Both speakers will give statements at the same time. By affirming or denying one party's opinion, you can change their views. If all goes well, the balance will shift, and you can advance to the next dialogue. This music is very disorienting. It's probably on purpose. Note that there is no time limit, but there is a limit to the number of selections you can make. Alright. Uh... Kutara was right. Gin, please say something. It doesn't matter what. But, but I mean... Uh, let's say, let's deny his I didn't see anything, Meow. Oh, really? So was everything Reiko said a lie? No, Meow, but, but I didn't. Gin, you gotta be lying, right? Uh, big sis Reiko's got it wrong, woof. I'll deny Kutaro. Gin isn't lying at all. Uh, stop flip-flopping, Sara. Crap, okay, no good. Alright, let's say... Uh, deny big sis Reiko's got it wrong. She didn't get anything wrong? Gin, why are you being stubborn about this? I... I... I just didn't want to believe that thing, woof. Okay, seems like I did it. I didn't want to show that thing and make everybody worry, meow. Make us worry? Uh, let's say, don't brood over it alone. Gin, you shouldn't worry about it all alone. Meow. Big sis Sara. I believe you, Gin. Whatever strange thing you present, I'll handle it. Okay, Meow. Seeing Big Sis Reiko getting yelled at by the Muscle Gorilla really ticked me off, Meow. Just so you know, I take Gorilla as a compliment. Woof. I believe you too, Big Sis Sara. Yeah. So, I was trying to put together the paper scraps from the Shredder thingy on the second floor, Meow. But then, Woof. Taking a look in there, I noticed some hand-torn paper too, Meow. And, and there, Woof, it said... That big sis Sara was a murderer. Oh, damn. Whoops. Okay. Huh? What? What are you on about? Kutaro, please don't shout. But what's the meaning of this? I need to get more details. Yeah, we definitely do. L let's extract. I believe in big six. Uh, but I believe in big sis Sara Wolf. What should I ask first? Uh, let's say... Was it a, uh, what is it? A letter to someone? This letter, or whatever it was, was it addressed to someone else? Um, so let me think. Meow. It felt sort of like a list, so it didn't seem like a message, meow. I wonder, should I have him add that to the statement? Oh, I've got that torn piece of paper, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. So that's important, woof. Got it, meow. I'll state it loud and clear, woof. Uh, but why was that there, Meow? I don't get it, Woof. Uh, should I ask him something again? Let's say, do you have the letter? That's a pretty important thing. If you have the actual letter on you, could you show it to me? Oh yeah, I have it, Meow. Look at it, Woof. Oh, it is too. Okay. Oh wow, murderer. I wonder if it got... I mean, it seems to match up pretty well. So... Uh, detective... Kutaro. Oh, but it says Kutaro is a high school student, so it's all mixed up. So one of these guys is a murderer. This is very interesting. Because we've got the torn paper, and it had Mishima's thing on it. So that- Okay. We got it. We got it. Yes. So that's important, Woof. Got it, Meow. I'll state it loud and clear, Woof. Alright, so let's show the torn paper. What is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. Okay, now I'm like curious, so I'm like, who's the murderer? Who is the murderer? One of the people on that list is a murderer, and it might not even be any of these people. It could be like another piece of paper that it's like, I mean, Gombi would be the most suspicious because he is literally in prison garb, but I'm like, hmm. Meow? This looks just like the one you have, right? This is Gin's. Oh crap, I want to look back though and- and- oh shoot. Cause there's Kutaro on there. I don't see anything about a baseball player. Maybe Kutaro's a murderer. I'm gonna blame- I'm gonna think everybody's a murderer. <laughs> Similar, Wolf. Totally the same, Wolf. If you notice, the fact Kutaro is listed as a high school teacher is weird too. Look at this. If you remove the left half, 
and connect it to a piece I have. Oh, we get to see it right off the bat. <gasps> okay. Oh, Alice is the murderer. Okay, so it's a character we don't even know. And someone else, uh, Renmar Renmaru Kagayama is a high school student. Megumi is the detective. Okay. Meow? They connected, Wolf. The terror matches up perfectly. Why is that? That's it. Multiple sheets were torn all at once. If you look at these sheets and stack them like this and then tore it, it would produce these results. In other words, there were at least two of these sheets stacked together. Is that it, Wolf? Since they fit together so cleanly, of course misunderstandings would happen. Yay! Thank goodness, Meow! But you know, what are these sheets in the first place? So, why was that sheet in that room? I have to feel like it was there. It was planted there specifically to throw us off or something or make us doubt other people. They are creepy, aren't they? The professor's name is on here and even some people I don't know. And whatever could the percentages on the side be? Anyway, I proved I was useful for exploring, meow. And now I'm glad Big Sis Sara wasn't a murderer after all. Eh? Then who is a murderer, Meow? Yeah, I guess... Yeah, Alice. It would be whoever Alice Yabasame is. Yabasame? That uh, sounds kind of familiar, Meow. There's only one person here with the last name Yabasame. Oh, crap. Oh, no, you're expecting me to remember last names? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh no, Yabasame. Um. Oh crap. Okay, so Joe. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I I know Burgerberg. I know that. Um, I know it's not going to be. It's not Gin. Oh shit. Um, oh boy. Expect me to remember last names. There's only like three people I know for sure. It can't be. I'm. It's not Joe. It's not Kana. Uh, it's not Kutaro. Uh, it's not Gombi. It's not Gin. So, Yabasame. Uh, I think... Shit. Oh, is it... Is it Kai? Kai Yabasame? Now Yabasame? Reiko Yabasame? Sorry, guys. Like, I should have been paying better attention. Oh, and I this is on a time limit. Okay, I've just got to pick something. Uh, Kai? Uh, sure? No, Kai... Kai Sato. It's a very common name, but I think that was it. Okay, shoot, and every choice I make is gonna be... is gonna make it go down. Why do I feel like Reiko Yabasama? That sounds... For some reason, that sounds right. Yes, okay. I was like, oh boy. Reiko, as I recall, you're Reiko Yabasame, aren't you? Arg. Yeah, I'm Reiko Yabasame. And so what? J just coincidence, right? I don't know anybody with that name. Uh-huh. Sara, what do you think? Oh boy. Are we saying that that's an alias? Let's say it's an alias. Reiko might be an alias. Hold on a sec. In the bar, on the blackboard, I saw a list of people who could drink and who couldn't. And it said both Reiko and Alice. Oh. Um, come to think of it, when I was searching, I found some chalk on the floor. So it's not impossible, it was changed. Oh, I don't want to believe it's Reiko. I really like her. You got it wrong. It's not me. Besides, handwritten pieces of paper? Anybody can make those, right? If they had a pen, sure. Oof. Big sis Reiko can't be a murderer, Wolf. Then should we call it a relative's name? I, I remembered. M my brother. It's my brother's name. Right, Alice? Alice is your brother? Alice is your brother, not your sister. Even your excuses are becoming illogical. It ain't an excuse. Reiko, tell the truth. Believe me, I'm- I mean, I- Reiko! Sara, help me! Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to believe it. Oh, I'll say nothing. Sara? Damn it, I- I- Wait! What's going on now? It- Oh, it's me! I'm Alice, okay? What? 
What? Huh? I'm Alice, I'm telling you. Reiko did nothing wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Listen, we're in the middle of a serious discussion right now. And I'm being serious too. Reiko. Reiko is my little sister. You for real? Well, I guess they do kind of have a similar fashion sense. Couldn't hide it, huh? This guy's real name is Alice Yabasame. He's my older brother. Then the murderer... is me. I lied about being a thief. I went to prison for killing someone. Or is he covering for his sister? What? Why is his name Alice? <laughs> like, isn't this guy some serious bad news? Yes, that's right. Indeed. I am a damn criminal. And Reiko cut me off as well, saying to never show me uh, her my mug again. And yet, it's not even funny to think we'd reunite in this place. Me and him are total strangers at this point. I didn't want Khan and the rest being scared of me because of this guy. So when he woke up, I told him to hide our relation. Right after you went to look for now. So that's it. I'm a simple murderer. But Reiko is different. She's a good and proper person. That's all I wanted to say. Damn it all. So you deny any connections with the kidnappers? Right. Why I was brought here, I still don't know. Huh. Suppose I can't expect trust or anything else, can I? It's just the ramblings of a killer. Ha ha ha. Despite us talking about Gin, we got some unexpected information there. There are still many points of interest, but there's no time. I want to hear Now's justification soon enough. What do you think? Eh? Me? That's fine. Ris uh, right, Miss Sara? Um, sh oh boy. Okay, so we've gone over Gin, we've gone over Kana, so I guess now is the last person that we should, uh, we should talk to, but... I don't know how long this is gonna go, like, I'm, I'm curious about... If you guys could let me know, um, uh, you know, how does this compare in terms of, like, a Donkin Ropa case? Like, how long do these things are expected to last? I have no idea, because... I am thinking it might be a good idea to wrap things up. I feel like this uh, episode's been going on for a decent amount of time. So let's agree. No helping it. We should move to the next topic. Well then, Miss Now, please give us your justification. All right. There we go. I feel like this is a good place here. We'll let them talk and then I think we'll wrap it up. I see a lot that's illogical about Now's actions. Illogical, eh? Aren't you curious what she was up uh what she was up to in the kitchen holding the box with Mishima? Tell me what you were doing there, Miss Now. Because of the body collection announcement, I went into a panic. I took the box and just sat and hid in the kitchen. I didn't touch anything in the room. I know I troubled you all a lot, but I didn't want to lose him. After everyone else, I inspected the kitchen and found ni uh, no signs of any trickery. Perhaps she truly was just hiding. All right, there we go. I mean, I have a feeling right off the bat now is lying to me, but we will we will get into that in the next chapter. This is very interesting. I am really liking this. This is definitely bringing me some Donkey Robo vibes, but I like the changes that they're doing to this. I like that it's different and it's not it's not set on just one person. It has to be that you have to find guilty. It seems like you can make more choices in this. So this is really cool. I'm very excited to continue this, but that will have to wait for another episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please stay tuned for the next episode, and I hope to catch you then. Until next time, bye guys.